Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know I have not been posting as much here on YouTube. I am so, so sorry. Um, it's just been kind of a crazy couple of weeks, but I thought we would do just a good old fashioned get ready with me. I'm getting ready for work today. And I thought I would share with you my skincare, like everything from my morning skincare routine to just an everyday makeup look when I need to look really put together. So this is not like a no makeup makeup. Um, this is more of like an elevated kind of soft, I say glam very loosely. But I thought I would share with you what products I'm kind of using in my makeup bag, what's just been living in here. I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in so long. I've been doing um, so much stuff on Instagram and just other work things have kind of had to be a priority recently, so I haven't been able to do long form videos here on YouTube, which is my passion, is my love, and it's what I love to do. So I'm really excited to be here today with y'all and to just be putting some makeup on with y'all. So make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, and let's get into it. All right, so I had kickboxing this morning, came home, took a shower. I literally just left my hair in the same hairstyle because <clears throat> I have to walk over to my office later, it's raining outside, so I'm gonna have to take a shower later anyway. So I just did a little body shower. I just left my hair up, and I haven't done any of my skincare, and my face feels like it's about to crack. So we need to go ahead and do some skincare. So I'm gonna go into my little skincare cabinet here. My skincare has changed just a little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, I've actually been incorporating this Ula Henriksen Glow 2.0 Dark Spot Toner. I purchased this off of Sephora. It was, I think actually it might still be on sale, but I bought the jumbo size because they have the jumbo size right now on sale. And I am all about evening out the skin, getting rid of hyperpigmentation and just kind of leftover marks from old breakouts. This is not a uh, active breakout or anything. This is just like a mark that was left because I picked my skin. Don't do it, kids at home, don't pick your skin. Anyway, I've been using this and I really, really like it. It's pretty intense. It does tingle a little bit, um, but it's nothing irritating and it goes away. It doesn't tingle every time, just sometimes. And I just uh, rinsed my face with a little bit of water in the shower. I try not to over cleanse it too much so I did not use a cleanser but just go over with a little bit of that and then I'm gonna go in with my favorite Briotech topical skin spray I just repurchased my third bottle I get this off of Amazon it's a hypo hy, hypochlorous spray uh, very similar to the tower 28 rescue spray and this was actually a recommendation from one of y'all and I love it it's my third bottle Right, so while that kind of dries, I'm going to do a little bit of my uh, Dr. Lip Nipple Balm. I use this on my lips, and um, I've been experiencing really dry areas around my eyes. So at nighttime, I will actually take this around my eyes, and it really helps. And I don't know if you can tell, but um, I get eczema on my neck as well. So I'll sometimes take some of this and run it down my neck and... It really, really helps, so I really like this, and you can get this on Amazon as well. All right, so I have switched up my vitamin C just because I completely used up my, my Naturium vitamin C serum. I love that one. I think I've been through two or three bottles of that. It's really, really good, but before repurchasing that, I have this in my drawer. I've been using this for about two weeks now. I've used it like months and months ago, um, but never like fully switched over. And before repurchasing the Naturium one, I want to give this a shot. So this is the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. It has 15% vitamin C, 5% PHAs, and hyaluronic acid. And I really, really like this. I My skin just really agrees with Ula Henriksen. Y'all know I love their moisturizer and their face oil. Um, but it looks like that's like a banana color, kind of like their eye cream. So I've really been enjoying this. It's really nice. It's very... Um, well, I have very sensitive skin, and I have not had any issues with this at all. And sometimes with vitamin C serums, my skin can be a little bit sensitive. So I really like this, and I just apply it all over my face, per usual. 
Smells really good too. Smells just like the eye cream. And speaking of eye cream, I have a new eye cream as well. This is brand new from Ilia. It's the Bright Start Activated Eye Cream. I did talk a little bit about this in my TikTok video, my last video. Um, but since filming that video, I've used this so much and I really, really like it. So I first apply it with this end. And then I flip it over because it's got this nice, smooth kind of uh, like massage thing. And then I roll it around the eye. Now, one thing about this eye cream, it's not one that you can kind of let sit on your eye and then blend it out, which is typically how I apply eye cream. Because I find that they're more moisturizing and they kind of thicken up as they sit on the skin. This one you have to blend out immediately because... If you let it sit on the skin, it will pill. And then the order of the next few products is a little strange and it's just because of the textures and how they mix together. I've kind of had to figure out how the different, how I fit my sunscreen in with my moisturizer. Usually my sunscreen is my last step of my routine, but this particular sunscreen that I'm trying out, it just meshes better if I apply it first before my moisturizer. So I'm trying out the Panoxyl Oil Control Moisturizer. It's a mineral sunscreen SPF 30. And I've actually been mixing this in with my Drunk Elephant De Bronzy. It's not overly white. It just takes a little bit more time to blend in if you apply it by itself. So I like to mix in just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of De Bronzy. And even if when I applied bronze, you can kind of see it's still pretty light, but once you blend it in, it works just fine. Because this is more of a matte sunscreen, I find that it works better underneath my more emollient moisturizers. When I was applying it on top, it was pilling a lot. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a second before we go in with moisturizer. And I'm actually gonna touch up my hair a little bit. Um, my favorite hair gel that I use every single day is the Pattern Stronghold Gel. That's what I have in my hair right now I have a little bit of like frizziness going on so I'm actually going to touch up with this wax stick this was totally a TikTok inspired purchase it's supposed to be like a knockoff of the TG bedhead which is funny because my parents actually used to work at Tony and Guy growing up they worked at Tony and Guy I was always in the salon and we used all their hair products and the bedhead stick has been in their line forever like it's I, I'm surprised it's still around but I remember using this as a kid like we always had the bedhead stick so this is a like I guess a knockoff of that I think I mean it looks almost exactly the same the TG one is like 25 bucks I think and this was like less than 10 so I just want to try it because everyone TikTok is raving about it I love the TG one though so um, that one's really good, but I just kind of wanted to give this one a go. So I'm going to take this just right around my hairline. And this one actually has a lot of nourishing ingredients in it. So I like that about it because um, I think it has like castor oil in it. So um, it's actually like nice to put in your hair. It doesn't feel like it's damaging it. So I'm just going to take my little boar bristle brush and just smooth out my edges and any little frizzies I have from kickboxing this morning. I'm actually going to take my water bottle and kind of spray my hair down, kind of help slick it back. And if you're looking for a water bottle for your hair, I use a water bottle for my hair every single day. I use it on my kids. I used to just buy a little water bottle. I think I got mine from Sprouts or Whole Foods, but I just bought like a glass bottle. But this has completely changed my life. This is the pattern water bottle. I just picked this up on a whim because I, I use a water bottle in my hair every single day. So I wanted to get like a nice one. So I tried this one and I love it. It's a continuous mist. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It like continuously sprays water. So you're not having to sit there and spray and spray and spray and spray and spray. So I love this. I think it's like $12. It's not that expensive. And it holds a lot of water too, which is nice. You don't have to keep refilling it. But I love this water bottle. It is so good. And I also, from Pattern, I picked up their um, edge tool. So it's got this comb, and then it's got this bristly brush, and then it's got a, what do you call this? Separate your hair and uh, part your hair. Oh my gosh. 
Um, so I picked this up yesterday actually, and uh, I used this this morning as well. All right, and then for moisturizer, Ula Hendrickson Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. I'm almost out of this one. I think this is like my fourth or fifth jar. I'm obsessed with this moisturizer. This is my absolute favorite. And I'll try and get a cute outfit together for the office. And uh, I'll show y'all what I'm gonna wear today right now, because right now I'm just wearing a robe. And then last step of my skincare routine is the Ula Hendrickson Hydra Barrier Nourishing Face Oil. This is my second bottle. Love this. And I already have a backup of this. So good. So I take about three, four drops. And then just press that. All right, so that is it for the skincare routine. I do this every single morning after the gym and my skin seems to really like it. I have not had any issues with anything so far. And honestly, my skin hasn't looked this good in a really long time. Like I have no breakouts, no active breakouts, no like visible clogged pores. Like my skin is obviously not perfect. The only thing I'm really dealing with is just this little hyperpigmentation spot. But other than that, like my skin looks so good. Got all my makeup in my favorite cushy bag. I will link this below. I've talked about it a million and one times, but it is the it is the best makeup bag. I'm trying to decide if I want to do. Yeah, let's just do. Let's just go straight into foundation. I'm not gonna put anything else on the skin. My skin feels nice and hydrated and prepped. Um, okay, so this is actually a new foundation. I picked this up because I love the concealer. I talked about the concealer. Um, in a previous video, but yeah, I loved the concealer, so I went ahead and picked up the foundation. This is a Shiseido Sinker Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. So this is the original one. They have since come out with, I had a little sample, they have since come out with like a, a more luminous or glowy version. This is the original one, and I really, really like it. So this is what I'm going to wear today, and then I've got all my brushes in my cushy brush roll. Just have all my favorite brushes in here that I use every day. All right, so I'm gonna start with a pump. I usually only need one pump for my whole face because a little of this goes a long way. I think this foundation looks a little light on me because the undertone is not as warm as I would like. I wish I would have gone one shade deeper. It has an olive undertone. I don't know why I didn't. It might have been out of stock at the time, but anyway, I wish I would have gotten that one. But this one works just fine. And I have my DeBronzy drop, so. If I ever want to mix those in, I can, but I really like this foundation. It's really, really pretty. You get a really good coverage and it has like a natural matte finish. I have a pretty glowy base underneath, so that's where a lot of this shine is coming from. But I would say just on its own, it's definitely a natural matte, which it's actually one of my favorite finishes when it comes to foundation. I like a natural to natural matte. So I feel like it mimics the skin more. And it also keeps you from getting super shiny throughout the day. All right, so I'm gonna take my damp sponge. This is the Paw Paw sponge from Amazon. I will link these below as well. They're my favorite, love these. My eczema is like flaring up so bad on my neck. Actually, something that has helped, if y'all deal with eczema, um, I picked this up because uh, there was one night where it was awful. Like, it looked so, so bad. It was like this huge rash all over my neck. So I picked up the CeraVe Hydrocortisone Anti-Itch Cream. Um, this cleared it up immediately, like overnight. So if you're in a pinch and you really want to clear up any rash, this stuff is amazing. I love it. And you just, a little bit goes a long way. But most nights, I usually just take my nipple balm and just run it down my neck. And that really helps. It doesn't really get rid of the rash or the redness, but it really calms it down and makes it less irritated. All right. So that is the foundation. I really like this foundation. It's really, really, really nice. So yeah, I've been thoroughly enjoying this for days when I do wear a foundation. I don't wear foundation, hardly ever, but there are days when I need to go into work and put a little foundation on, and that's the one that I've been reaching for, that one. And then the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation, which is like a rediscovered foundation that I really like as well. The only thing I don't like about that is it has a lot of fragrance, 
So that's why I tend to reach for the Shiseido one over that. So with the foundation, I'm also going to take the concealer. Ooh, do I want to do... Ooh, actually, okay, my new thing is I'm going to do a little cream contour and cream highlight first, and then we'll do concealer. That's how I've been doing my makeup. It's still new to me, so I kind of forget sometimes. But yeah, I'm going to do that first, and I find that it just looks more natural. So I'm going to take my favorite Makeup Forever Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick between this cream contour and the Rare Beauty cream contour. Those are my two favorites right now. Get a smaller brush for my nose. My favorite refer 32. I'll blend out my nose. For a little bit of highlight, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury in 4.5. Then I actually use my sponge for this. Okay, now we will go in with concealer. So Shiseido Synchro Skin, what is this? I forgot what it's called. Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. Uh, I have this in the shade 201 Light. And I actually really like the applicator on this. It's like a little ball tip kind of thing. It's different. I don't have any other concealers that are shaped like this, but I really like it. So I'm going to use this also to kind of clean up underneath my cheekbones. So I've discovered an awesome new show. If y'all have Hulu, um, it's not new. I think it came out in 2021, um, but I just started watching it and uh, it's called Only Murders in the Building. It's with Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez. And there's actually like a bunch of really good cameos in the show too. Like Tina Fey is in the show, Sting is in the show. Um, yeah, some like really interesting actors that I didn't even know were in there. Anyway, the show is incredible. If you love murder mysteries, but it's also obviously really funny. I mean, it's Steve Martin. Um, it is such a good show. So if you have Hulu, definitely check it out. The cast is incredible. The, the writing is so good. Oh my gosh. I love it. We've been watching that every night. All right, I am happy with that. Take a little bit, whatever's left over on my sponge, on my eye. And that is it for the skin. I mean, doing the concealer last is like game changing. I don't know why I've never done this. I, I know underpainting, I used to do underpainting all the time. Now that's like super trendy right now, but like the concealer as the last and final step, I don't know if I'll ever do my makeup different, like any other way. It, just makes everything so flawless and just so easy to blend. All right, so for powder, I'm gonna take my favorite Makeup Forever uh, Ultra HD Pressed in Translucent. Even though we did cream contour, I am gonna add just a touch of bronzer. So I'm just gonna take my favorite Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer. This is in light medium. And apply that just right on top. I'm actually skipping blush today because I have to apply blush at the office for a campaign I'm doing. So we're just going to be all bronzed up. I'm going to take a little bit of this down my nose. Then just a little bit through my eye socket. Do my NYX brow glue. Then I'm just going to go in with a clean spoolie just to make sure there's no clumps. So, I am going to do some mascara. I'm not going to do anything on the eyes. And then while the brow glue dries, or uh, I'm going to let the brow glue dry and then we'll go back in and actually fill them in. And then for mascara, I'm just going to use my Tower 28 mascara. And I'm sorry for the noise, that is the wind. It is kind of crazy. So back to the brows. I'm gonna take my NYX brow pen. And I do tend to like a more straight brow, so I like to kind of cut this arch off a little bit. 
like that. Oh, so I'm not gonna apply this today, but I did want to mention something that I am so obsessed with. And I really want to try her other shade of this. Um, she actually sent this to me in PR. This is the LH Cosmetics Basic Elements palette. And it's a quad of these, like, creamy, gorgeous, glossy glitters. These are incredible. They are unlike any glitter I've ever tried. I am so obsessed with this, so I really want to try her other one, but these are amazing. If you love glitter, it's not a chunky or dry glitter. It's not a really PC glitter. It's like this smooth, glossy, wet, like, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, the formula of this is just, I mean, do you see how shiny and wet looking it is? Oh my gosh, these are incredible. So good, so, so, so good. So I've actually been keeping that in my makeup bag, which is weird because I, do, I don't like ever do eyeshadow or like wear glitter, but this, like one of those just sheared out all over the eyelid. <gasps> oh, so beautiful. And I, if I ever just want a little bit of sparkle in the eyes, I just reach for this. It's beautiful. I mean, it's Linda Hallberg, she can do no wrong. I love everything that I have from LH Cosmetics, but this is like superb. It's so, so good. So different than anything, any other glitter I've ever tried. It's really, really good. Actually, I forgot, I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes as well. All right, so that is it for the makeup. It's very fresh, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's still pretty full coverage, at least for me. This is definitely more coverage than what I normally go for, but. I mean, this foundation is stunning. It is the most full coverage, natural looking foundation. Like it covers everything, but it just looks like skin. I don't know how to describe it. It's really beautiful. I've really been enjoying this one. So yeah, big win. And then I also picked up one of the Shiseido Kajal Ink Artists, which I've been using this a ton. If you've been watching my Instagram reels, I've been using this a lot. I love this. I got it in black, or it's called Nippon Noir. And it's just a black shadow. It's like a multi-use product. So you can use it in the brows. You can use it um, as shadow, as liner. It's really, really good. So this has just been like my everyday, like quick little wing. And yeah, I love it. So I need to try some more from Shiseido. If y'all have any recommendations, let me know because I've loved everything I've tried so far. Um, yeah, really, really beautiful products. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of jewelry as well. I have my Miranda Fry, I cannot remember the name of these, but I will link them below the little bars. But I'm gonna add a little bit more. I actually keep all my jewelry in my bathroom now. Um, I'm gonna add some more jewelry, Let's see. All right, I'm gonna do these little studs. These are Dean Davidson or Davidson Dean studs. I will find these and link these below as well. These are really pretty, very elegant. And then I'm gonna do my Lily Clasp little jeweled danglies. I really like these. They're like super girly and like kind of, I mean, not really, I guess. They're not like too over the top. For me, I feel like this is like a little more over the top. But when you pair it with other things, it just, it's so pretty. It like brings this girly, feminine, more just ornate kind of look to the ears. But when you pair it with something more edgy or something more blunt, like it just looks really cool, so. But today we're going for a little bit more of like an elegant kind of feminine vibe. And then for my last, or my third hole, what do I want to do? Something simple. These are actually little hoops that came off of some pearl earrings from, oh, what's her name? It's Joe Jonas, or um, it's Kevin Jonas's wife. She has her own jewelry line, Danielle Jonas. She has her own jewelry line and she sent me these beautiful pearl earrings 
So they look like that. They're gorgeous. But the cool thing about these is you can actually take the pearls off and just use the hoop. So that's what we're going to do today. That's my little ear stack. And then once I figure out what I'm wearing, I'll pick necklaces because it kind of depends on what I'm wearing. Got my wedding ring. And oh, this is really pretty. This is another piece from Danielle Jonas. It's a pearl ring. So pretty. I've been wearing this every day. Love that. And then I think we'll just leave it at that. It's really simple. So I'm going to go pick out my outfit and then we will pick out some more jewelry and then I will show y'all what I'm wearing today. So I'll be right back. All right. So I'll show y'all my full outfit in just a second, but I figured we'd go ahead and do jewelry. And then I totally forgot to put my like lips on. I think I'm just going to do a lip gloss or maybe even my nipple balm, but I totally forgot to put anything on my lips. Okay. So for jewelry, I'm going to wear this. Uh, Chris got this. I think he bought this off of Etsy and he customized it. So it's got my name on it. It has um, our anniversary on it. I don't know if y'all can see this. Oh my gosh, it's kind of shiny. It has our anniversary on it. And then it says, I love you. And then I like a little phrase that we've had since we were dating. Um, so I'm gonna wear that today. I really like the length of it. So I think we're gonna do that. And then thinking maybe this chunky Miranda Fry necklace. Maybe this kind of chunkier piece. I always get, like, I'm not good at layering necklaces. I always get really frustrated. It's like picking out clothes. I don't know. I never know what to put together. And uh, you can see this lovely bruise I have from jujitsu yesterday. If I'm not bleeding, I'm bruised. It's like one or the other. It was funny. We got these brand new sheets because our sheets were ruined with the flood, the pipe burst, if you didn't know that. Uh, we had a pipe burst and our bed was ruined. We had to get a whole new mattress, like everything, but our sheets were completely ruined. So we went out and bought like some really nice sheets. The first night, the first night I slept on them, they were washed, like they were, it, everything was just so perfect. First night I slept on them, I bled all over them because my elbows, um, we had been doing elbows and kickboxing. They're still kind of healing, bled all over my sheets from my elbows. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so if I'm not bleeding, I'm, I'm bruised. Like it's just, it's part of it. Okay, so I like that. I think I'm just gonna do my Tower 28 work of art multi-liner. These are now available in Sephora. They used to only, uh, they used to be a Credo exclusive, but they are now on Sephora. And they just came out with some new glossy, tinted glossy balm as well. That looks really pretty. Maybe I'll do, I'm gonna do a little bit of my Hurrah lip balm. This is the Black Cherry. Just for a little, little bit of moisture. All right, so that is the completed makeup. Now on to the outfit. So here is the outfit of the day. I'll try and link as much of this as I can below. Um, vest. This shirt is actually not cropped. I just kind of tucked it, but it's this really cool kind of like muscle shirt. It's got a little bit of like extra fabric here. So it kind of looks padded. Um, so I really like it under this vest because it kind of sticks out and I like the shape of it. And then these trousers are H&M. They're actually like really big on me. Um, yeah, but I'm just kind of making them work. I think they're okay. I think that's kind of the style, right? And then my Nike Dunks. And then my Coach purse. I actually just bought this for myself. This was a treat for myself. And um, yeah, it's really cute. A little crossbody. And then you can also wear it over the shoulder as well. And then I bought a little mirror attachment. And then these sunglasses. I posted about these on Instagram but I have to tell you about them. They are incredible. They are a complete dupe for the Prada 17WS or something. I can't remember the exact name. Aren't these incredible? Like they just make the whole outfit. I love these. I'm not a sunglass wearer. I never wear sunglasses, especially sunglasses like this, but I don't know. I kind of feel like 
I kind of feel like hot stuff in these. I, I really, really like them. So I will link these down below. They were super cheap. I think they were like 13 bucks. And they are just like the Prada ones. They just don't say Prada on them. So yeah, that is the outfit of the day. I'm ready to go walk in the rain to my office. All right, guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. It was so nice to just sit with y'all and chat and just do my makeup. I promise I will be doing more YouTube videos, more long videos. This The new year has just been kind of crazy and I've been super, super busy, but I will definitely be doing more of these videos. Let me know what you think of these get ready with me videos in my bathroom. If you like these, I can kind of switch it up from the studio and do more here kind of in my home. Um, I know a lot of y'all seem to really like that. So if you like the more kind of chill bathroom get ready with me videos, I can definitely do that. Sorry for all the noise. It's raining and thundering and it's the weather's kind of crazy. But anyway, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. As always, remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord, of every song we sing.